give you a little bit of more medicine the doctor recommended to help with your blood pressure since it's still high, okay? Simulation's been used for a long time. It's used a lot in aviation, it's used in the military um, because we engage in really high risk um, situations and that's what we're preparing um, students for. So this is our um, new 3G um, Sim Man, it's a Laridol product. Um, these high fidelity uh, mannequins can do a lot. They provide um, a lot of input for the students. They have um, within the chest is actually a motherboard that connects with laptops that we have in our control rooms. I also have some pain underneath my right rib cage. We're able to direct the responses of the mannequins from the technology and the two can um, connect that way. Um, they have heart sounds, lung sounds, bowel sounds, um, respiratory rates, um, they blink and sweat. They can actually bleed also. We'll have um, students do a virtual reality and then come take care of that same patient in high fidelity simulation with the mannequins. Um, so we use different combinations that really um, have nice synergy between the two um, to whatever those learning outcomes are. Next time you do, you might just try. Also, I think that's unique about our program is that everyone that teaches in simulation um, have been practicing. Um, we're all practicing registered nurses at the bedside and bring all of that expertise, clinical expertise, um, to um, simulation um, to help transition them um, into practice, our students. I'll be done very soon.